Okay, so I do feel though, um, for those of you who have had like a pretty rough time dealing with a loved one, I feel mainly it is a loved one. Um, a lot of information might have come to light in the April 4th full moon lunar eclipse. And um, I do feel that, um, you know, you're going, you're like, um, you've had it. Basically, you're dropping the ball, you're dropping that person. Um, I do feel, though, that um, it's a little premature to do that, mainly because um, you're acting on impulse more than reason and logic, okay? So it's actually very important for you to re-examine, like, a recent, a very recent decision that you've just made, like, within this past week. It's very, very important for you to re-examine it, um, mainly because this is the only card that showed up in the upright position it, it it means essentially that you do have a lot of regret there's a lot of pain a lot of regret associated with that decision okay and I feel that you felt very overpowered you felt very out of control and um, you didn't act in a very rational way and you felt that the situation was so overpowering that you just had to remove yourself from the from that situation and you had no control over the course of it how it got to that point so it was kind of like an explosion you know like a a big massive like uh, blowout um if you are dealing with something like that okay let me know if you are um i feel that um you acted a little too hastily, a little too um, prematurely, and um, you're going to have to backtrack, basically. Um, the way the cards are laid out, I do feel very strongly that um, for this, the rest of this month, you know, after, let's see, after the 15th even, I do feel that you're going to have to revisit this issue and resolve it. So, you know, it's, um, if you can do it now or, you know, take some time off to cool off and then go back to it then because you're going to have to. Um, I do sense here that, um, you know, for those of you who are dealing with like a work situation in which like um, you feel unappreciated and you feel that they're not being fair to you if it is a work situation and um, you just like walked out on the job then I do feel that it is really important for you not to burn your bridges so just tell them you know go back and just apologize I don't feel that you're going to um, have to apologize too hard because the people themselves are a little self-interested so you know they're just glad that you're out of the picture but you should explain yourself just so that you don't burn bridges with the co-workers or the supervisor or the employers that you had a good relationship with and that one person just like ruined it for everybody so you know it's important to mend bridges okay for those of you who are dealing with this as like a really a person from your past somebody that you've had a lot of disputes a lot of problems with and for some reason you can't see eye to eye you can't really have a relationship with them and it's been like an ongoing thing you know I do feel that this blowout you like basically dropping the ball and you just like telling them you know I've had it I can't deal with you anymore something like that I do feel it greatly this is like a load off your shoulders okay like you're dropping the ball um, I do sense that um, in general in that situation you're going to have to go back and fix it to towards the end of this month I'm very sorry um, but I do feel that you were acting in haste okay um, for those of you who are, were not acting in haste, who didn't have to make a decision, what I do sense is um, there is a situation from your past, and you're actually going to get a chance to fix this, okay? Not this week. It's going to be like um, from the 15th onwards. This is something that happened, you know, in the recent past, and it indicates to me, in, in the reverse position, it does indicate like uh, a falling out between people. It could also be like a, a major situation that is still hurts to this, this day. It could be like a big expenditure on a house. It could also be like a falling out between co-workers. It could also be like um, any type of situation that really shook you at the core. I mean, when the tower happens, you really know it's the tower. So it's something very cataclysmic, you know, in your recent past, okay? And um, because it's in the reverse position, like basically it, it already happened. The energy of the tower is very swift, okay? So it indicates to me that this had already happened. You're still coping with the aftermath. And um, this is the week in which the door is opening up 
for you to um, pick up the pieces and rebuild yourself. So if you had a massive falling out, it's now time for you to move forward, okay? Um, the judgment card next to this card indicates to me that it is going to be a very slow process. So like I said, if you want to go back and fix it, if you want to go back and rebuild, mend that broken bridge, you're going to get an opportunity like after the 15th. Right now, you're still, you know, the energy is still like very... Um, chaotic it's still very like everything is still so up in the air mainly because um as a fire sign you're going to feel the effects of this lunar eclipse um down the line okay so it's basically it creates like a massive blowout and and then for those of you who have not dealt with that type of confrontation you're basically going to examine some things um an eclipse in an air sign indicates that you know you are going to be able to phase people out of your life and um, the energy itself is um, depending on you know which type of Aries you are if you're handling it this pretty well then I do feel that you know an opportunity will come in for you to fix it if you want to fix it if you want to like um, re repair bridges but I would say You've been handling it well thus far, so it's important for you to just, you know, pick up the pieces for yourself, rebuild yourself, and move forward, rather than dabble back in that situation with that person from the past, okay? Who has create, caused you a lot of concern and a lot of harm, who has really, like, upset you. So it's important to keep that into perspective. Um, a lot of you too might be going through legal proceedings and new information is coming to light and it is going to get dragged on okay so in general you know just stay still um, I'm going to read for your finances I feel that financially you're going to be okay alright so um, in the past you've had to balance two jobs you had to balance like financial obligations and um, that energy is alleviating very early on in this week like as early as Monday and uh, for the rest of this week, you're going to be okay on the financial front, okay? The work situation, if this is something in your work environment, it is going to be very chaotic. And um, mainly, I feel that, you know, it is tax season. So comparatively, every work environment is really going to pick up. If you're in the HR department, if you're doing like paperwork and things like that, there are going to be like a lot of problems, a lot of disputes with people with their tax forms and things like that. And you have to like um, fix all of this. This is a card of institutions. And you know, taxation itself is an institutional, I guess, clause that we implement. And um, it's very important for you to like, um, do things by the book, okay? Otherwise, um, you will, they will come back to bite you. So be very, very careful about that. For those who are in governmental organizations or who are working in like large enterprises or big companies, just be very careful. Even for those who are even employed in like small, you know, mom and pop shops, um, just cover your bases for this week. I feel that you're, um, you're kind of like racing around like life feels like an obstacle course it's kind of like one thing after another and you're like corner from every direction so um i can't say you know how you can manage this but what i will say is just um cover your bases try to slow down okay this is just one week out of you know the rest of your life so don't let the energy of this week define the rest of this year, define the course of your life moving forward. So um, just really, really slow down. Take some time off, okay? This is basically um, gaining insight. You're in the reverse position too, so um, it's really important for you to take a breather, really slow down. Um, learn from past mistakes, okay? So the last time you experience something like this where you're very frazzled, it's very important for you to take a step back and really slow down. Take a breather, okay? Um, I hope um, you're able to, you know, navigate through this without a lot of problems. But, you know, we have three, no, four, five, six, <laughs> six major arcana cards. And, um, it's it's going to be a strong week, but I do feel that um, you're going to be okay, though. Don't worry about it too much, okay? Just let the week go by and, um, you know, like, take a breather. Slow down, okay, Aries? Um, either way, I hope you have a good week. I hope the next week will look a lot more positive. Um, you know, 
for those who are going through this, I'm very, very sorry. And um, I wish, you know, there was more, like, advice I can give. It's just, um, it seems like total blockage, though. So, you know, I, I, I feel really bad. So I really don't want to start out with this. But um, I do feel that you're going to be okay. So, you know, just really, really take the time to slow down and cover your bases, okay?